today we are going to see a video on how to create a virtual classroom in Classera using Microsoft Teams. First, go to Classera website, enter your username and your password, click on login. Now, once you are logged in, scroll down and go to virtual classrooms. Click on it. You can see there add new smart classrooms. Click on that button. Now, we have two vendors, Microsoft Teams and WizIQ. In this video, we are going to discuss about Microsoft Teams. Choose Microsoft Teams, click on continue. Now, when you are going to create your Microsoft account for the first time, you will see this page. As the account has not yet been created, we will click on create account. Now copy these details and my suggestion to you is to copy and paste it in notepad. Now click on login with Microsoft. You will be asked to log in, enter your email address, click on next. Enter your password, sign in. Now you will be asked to update your password. First, enter your current password. Now create a new password. To create a new password, you have to keep in mind that your password should contain at least one uppercase letter, at least one lowercase letter, one numeric value, and one special character and the length of the password should be minimum eight characters so let's create our password after you are done click on sign in you can enter the title here let's suppose xylem NP. You can select that starting time. Duration, it depends on you. 30 minute, 45 minute, 60 minute. Then click on submit button. Now we can see the virtual classroom has been added successfully. We can see the title the starting time and the duration. On the right side, we can see some actions there, such as view, edit, delete, view recording, download, attendees, details. Once you are done with your lecture, you can view your recording by clicking on this option. If you want to download the recording, you can click on download option. If you want to see the number of participants or the students present in your class, you can see by clicking on the option attendees. In case if you want to change the duration, you can click on edit. You can make changes in the duration or the starting time or the grades and then submit. In case you want to delete the lecture, you will click on delete button, this delete icon. Now, let's move forward. Click on the view option if you want to conduct your class. Now you have two options here. Download the Windows app, join on the web instead. I'm going to choose the second option, join on the web instead. Click on this. Now you may find this error. It says to open the web app, you need to change your browser settings to allow third party cookies. Try again. If you see this message, 
then you can go to settings site settings cookies and site data now here block third party cookies please turn it off that's it close the tab try again some of you may not find this error if your cookies are enabled then you will not find this error download the windows app if you want to download you can click on this option or join the web instead click on this now the most common problem that we see is that the teacher they enter their name and then they join and the message that they see on their screen is someone in the meeting should let you in soon now when you see this message click on mm. close then click on sign in button click on use the web app instead now you can see microsoft teams page you can start your class by clicking on join now on the left hand side you can see activity chat teams calls files let's suppose you want to conduct your class now so click on join now button waiting for others to join this button is to turn off or turn on the camera this is the mute button share here are the more actions you can start recording this icon is to show conversation click on it you can see on the right hand side we can chat with the students show participants in case you want to end the call you can click on hang up now if you want to see your recording you can click on more edit apps stream on the right hand side you can see microsoft stream link click on it your videos are stored here you can share replace video delete video trim video download video if you find the video helpful please like share and subscribe